Good afternoon, viewers. Welcome back to the channel. You are here with me, your Birdman. We're here in the new year, 2024. We're actually in the, uh, yeah, we're still in the first week of it. It's only the second at the time I'm recording. And it'll just be the second week by the time you're seeing this. We're here in Verse Tomb. Down in the hive, we're digging out our fabulous Magma Forge. Something I actually did not want to have in this fort. I just didn't feel like it, but here we are, because I'm sick of cutting down trees and making charcoal. We're just getting that channel down. I'm still a little bit sick, so pardon the constant sniffling. Oh look, a goblin scholar is visiting. I'm sure that's fine. Those elves ran off, so we weren't able to uh, trade with them. But look! We filled up the prison again! And we got a bunch of beak dogs here in this cage. This cage needs to be linked to this lever. Uh, that, that cage, cage with the beak dog, cage with the beak dog, there we go. Do that now. Let's just do a quick cleanup. There we go. I'm just going to be happy if I can get through this without uh, hacking up a lung. That was a problem during last week's recording sessions. It was a struggle. Ah, this is going to take a minute. And then, of course, we have to rebuild the floor. Yeah, there might be a more efficient way to do this, but I need to expand the Magma Sea. This is working. Hold on here. Oops. Okay. The dwarves keep complaining that they can't find things because they're inaccessible, and it's because they're trying to pick up these rocks on the floor. And they keep dropping the rocks into the magma. This is exactly how I want to start my year. Playing Dwarf Fortress. To entertain strangers on the internet. Ah, good. The bees are still stinging people. We, uh, we lost a lot of animals in that last attack, but only one dwarf. So I call that a win. Also, we've now got this captive peregrine falcon, so we're going to train that as a war beast and give it to somebody. <sighs> is this linked yet? This is linked. Okay, so what I want to do here... Actually, what I want to do is finish filling this up with weapon traps. Okay, good. Looks like we've gotten a few things off of those captive goblins. A lot of crossbows. Sure, silver great axe, why not? It doesn't really matter what the weapons are, because we're going to fill the room with them. Uh, yes, menacing copper spike, that'll work. Okay. Gonna try to point away from the microphone when I do that. And you know what? Let's link this one too. Ah, there's a plane apparently passing by outside. I've got the window open because it's a beautiful rainy day here in the Pacific Northwest. There's some kind of industrial vacuum cleaner running in the background. That's probably going to be covered up by the music. But I bet when I listen to the recording, it'll just barely be audible. Man, this takes a long time. 
Hypothetically, it's worth it, though. Although, on that note, um, so that's all we're doing right now. We're just, we're moving prisoners around because we filled up the bloody prison again. And we're digging out a magma forge. Uh, other than that, pretty much business as usual, so why don't we pause there, and I will rejoin you folks in a few minutes when all of this is a little further along. And by a little further along, I of course mean once we're all done with this part. So, <coughs> so, now we're here. Um, as you can see, we've completely rebuilt the floor, and you might be wondering, why are you doing that? And the answer is, it makes the floor modular. Now, um, let's see, if I want to build a magma smelter, say right here, um, I can just remove this right here. And we'll do another one over here. And we'll do one here, and we'll do one here. Now I can customize these rooms by just removing and replacing individual floor tiles. I can move the magma forges around however I want. We might as well... Uh, where is... Magma forge, there it is. Might as well get these going too. Okay, so those need those. Start with four of each. That should be good enough for now. And then these up here. This can be or... And this can be metal bars. Okay, actually, we'll let them get the forges built first here. When I say I was sick, it was really just a minor cold. But I was fairly congested, and I'm still coughing a lot. That's kind of the uh, the penalty of being me, is that whenever I get sick, no matter how sick I actually am, like this was a really minor thing, didn't even stop me from going into work, but I get this lingering cough that hangs on for weeks and weeks afterward. And so I sound sick for weeks and weeks after I'm done being sick. But the content train does not stop a rolling. That's a loud airplane. Let's close the window. <laughs> there we go. They're bringing stuff down. Good, good. Would you finish ripping up that tile, please? Thank you. Okay. Now then, we build the magma smelters here. Here. I did this incorrectly. I forgot that I can't rotate the buildings. <coughs> so let's just uh, stop doing this right now. Thank you. Here and here. Here and here. There we go. I don't know how I forgot that I can't rotate the buildings. I don't remember if we just need one of those tiles uncovered or both, so we'll just do both. <coughs> Boy, I was doing better than this recording my last Alan Wake episode. I'm struggling today. And I got three uploads to record today. <sighs> I 
got time now. This is the slow season for me at work. I'm just not going to get a lot of hours, which means I'm going to have a lot of time to play Dwarf Fortress. Yay! That'll help me get back ahead of my uh, recording schedule. I got three weeks ahead, and then I got lazy. And let myself run right up against the end of my uh, my content there. Okay, apparently we've got a lot of bars and not a lot of unsmelted ore. What do we even have to smell right now? Okay, well we got Galena, we got Cassiterite. Um, go ahead and make some bronze. Make pig iron, make steel. There, do those things. Do all those things. This will probably still be like a barracks level for the Magma Forge workers, although I suspect they're going to walk right past it to go all the way upstairs to their, uh, their personal rooms. So maybe we just let them suffer and walk. Now these poor guys, whoever's building this, they have to cart those anvils down from upstairs in the furniture storage. So they've got to be thrilled about that. Is somebody actually doing this? Yep. How's the cavern doing right now? We got some trees coming in. To remind everyone, we are letting the blood thorns grow in for a while before we cut them down again. Surface trees are still the enemy, and will be cut down the moment I notice that trees exist. Except for those. We're saving one level. Those are emergency trees. Elf bait, we might call them. I actually would really like the elves to come back. I know that sounds weird, but I want their exotic animals. We took some casualties in that last siege. Ah, good. Okay. Oh, hey, let's dedicate one of these specifically to melting metal objects, because we still have a lot of metal objects that need to be melted. Nope, apparently we don't. Apparently I don't know what I'm talking about. All right. Go figure. I'm pretty much constantly suppressing the urge to cough right now. So there's going to be a little bit of... <coughs> in this episode. It's okay, the royalty-free background music will compensate for it. Is any of this worth keeping? No. Please dispose of this. And by please, I mean now. Ununionized laborers. Couple more magma smelters. these ready? These are ready. Okay. Bronze spike. How many bronze bars do we have? We need more spikes. Bronze, 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 bronze. Bronze, right there. 100, let's see. Can we make 100 spikes with 100 bars? That feels right. Oh, look at that. There is some ore down here. Ore. Ooh, and we'll be able to forge more cages with this. Efficiently. Yes, good, good. Build the forges. Thank you for carrying those anvils down a hundred flights of stairs. 
You will not be rewarded. Goodbye. Yeah, so once we got the uh, the death room here all kitted out, we'll uh, we'll start with the goblins. Well, we'll start with the beak dogs and then move to the trolls. And at some point here, oh yeah, we hit maggot scorpions. That one. As you can see, their population has dropped by about ten. Um, let's see. Raid maggot scorpions. It wasn't much. We got there. We killed a few of them. Lemar greatest choked. Okay. Yeah, see. And then we looted some stuff, but the loot uh, was a, a couple a, a couple boots, the chime from a musical instrument, a copper pick, and a loincloth. Good effort, team. Good effort. What? No beak dogs? We got some migrants, so we're at 165 right now. The prison, of course, still full of bees. Oh, and we have a doctor's guild now. Um, I forget where the hospital is. There it is. So the Quiescent Elder. That's not a promising name for a hospital, but okay. Uh, the Quiescent Elder, which you, which meets the minimum requirements for a guild hall, so that's good. That's good. We'll just engrave the walls if they decide they need a grand hall. What's going on here? Oh, it hasn't been approved yet. Ugh. Do we have anything that needs to be melted? Melt the silver arrows. Silver is trash ammunition. Oh boy, I'm not doing this on camera. Okay. <laughs> is anybody building these things? Yeah, we got people on it. We got people on it. Oh, and... We should designate this for bars. Missed. There we go. And we should designate this for metal ores. For all the difference it's going to make, since we apparently don't have a whole lot of stray ore lying around right now, I can fix that probably. Let's see. Where's our mining level? Aha! Okay, is this all Galena? It is. Let's see, let's see, let's see. That's marble. Let's mine out all the ore. Let's not mine out that though, let's mine out this. So mine out all this Galena ore. And we'll take those gems too while we're at it. We'll uh, make a bunch of silver crafts or something. I don't know. Maybe we'll get lucky and we can export some lead mugs to the elves. That would be hilarious. Doesn't make a bit of difference, of course. You can't give lead poisoning to elves yet. But we can sure try. We can do our best. Okay. We'll start with that. Good, that's been approved. And are we doing it? Do I need to, like, forbid the upper ones here? <laughs> oh, 
I mean, it's whatever. Just get it done, you know? I don't really care whether it happens up here or down there. We'll run out of charcoal at some point, and then it'll have to happen down there. We do have some animals that can probably go away. We should probably slaughter the older ones. We'll save a couple of extra does. Let's just make sure we don't have any cats that need to be gelded. I think we're fine. What else do we have that needs to die? Got some sheep that we're waiting for to grow up. All right, so apparently milking these purring maggots, right, should be as easy as just going in here and doing it. But um, everybody's busy. Everybody's busy hauling things. Could we get busy doing work, please? Doing work? Okay, good. Tasks have been assigned down here. That's what we like to see. Okay, we're melting ore here. Smelting. Not just melting. It's productive melting. Make sure we have these going at every one of these locations. We, we have nothing to melt at this time. Okay. And while that's happening, let's launch our next raid on maggot scorpions. We'll break them down a little bit at a time. Um, I want squash chambers. Crystal and Swamps and the Glorious Tomes. Go! Doran has become a Chief Medical Dwarf. You've become a Chief Medical Dwarf to set out on your raid? Is that how that works? Thing is, I'm not sure how vulnerable our dwarves are to these traps. So once we uh, pull the lever on that, we'll probably want to just let them wander around and get killed as much as possible before we send the militia in. What are you doing over here? Why are you in the prison? You're eating? You're eating the prison rations? There's a perfectly good grand hall upstairs. Well, no, that we have we have many small halls. But look, we have, we have two taverns. And you're eating prison rations. Ah, dwarves, I am disappoint. Oh, I want to use our trade depot. Now that we've got this going, I, I think I think the end game for uh, Verse Tomb here is going to be our assault, our, our siege on um, not Fiend Wave. Where where did it go? Here we go, Scorpion Spray. This is our ultimate objective. We're going to work our way east, take out Maggot Scorpions and Ghoul Bridges, then Fiend Waved. We'll hit Mine Hated, and then Relief Doomed. And then once all that's done, we'll start hitting Scorpion Spray, and we'll see if we can siege them down and wipe them out. Oh, we should probably hit Boat Scalds as well. And then once we've done that... Wait a second. Hello, there's nobody here. And there's loot. Please explore Sword Fortunes, uh, Fatal Seals. Go. We're going to send out a lot of our troops. And then once we've uh, dealt with Scorpion Springs, I think that'll be it for Verse Tomb. Eventually, we'll have to move on to a whole new world. 
And in the meantime, I'm still enjoying this one, and I hope you are too. Well, I know you are, because we're getting the views, we're getting the likes. Not a ton, but I'm a small channel, so it's fine. <sighs> Dwarf Fortress. Still got that alpha build coming. Still planning for the next project to be the uh, uh, giant tavern. And I'll be doing a special episode, a subscriber appreciation special, specifically for my Dwarf Fortress viewers. So, get excited for that. Nice, we're building spikes. That's what I like to see. I like to see spikes. We need to make backpacks. The mayor has imposed a ban on picks. Yeah, that that's fine. I think we can do that. Good, good, good. Things are happening. They never happen quickly, but they are happening. And they're happening a little faster. Just a little. Okay, our guest is pondering surveying. Sure, buddy, whatever whatever makes you happy. Do we... What do we do about this, huh? Do we go down here? Do we fight this thing? Do we risk it, or do we just leave it there like a pet? You can leave the map anytime you want, you know. You don't have to stay there. You don't have to stay there. But you seem to be pretty happy. How's our falcon doing? I don't know if we can war train this thing. No, it doesn't seem like we can. So we'll just uh, tame it and make it available. There we go. And since you are trained... We'll just turn you loose. Why not? Falcons don't belong underground in the first place. <coughs> I will say that doesn't feel very good. Oh, we're back. Um, that was our raid on the abandoned fort. Let's have a look here. Okay, they went out, uh, they grabbed... Man, it looks like they just grabbed everything. So that is ideal. Okay. Yep, Sword Fortunes has been looted. Oh, Hillhawks of Starmine. They got a couple of books there, too. I also would like to get this fort up to 200. It would be amazing if we could get the Queen here. but I just don't know if that's going to happen. Okay, we're getting through the spikes. Right, so I figured something out here. Um... Let me show you this. So here, here's our room full of captives, right? And these captives have equipment. And I told them to dump the equipment, and I thought they were doing it. But remember that we keep having these fully armed goblins springing out in our little kill room here. So what I figured out, if we go over here into, say, legwork, which I haven't done yet. And as we go down, we'll just, we'll start by dumping all of the tattered clothing that we don't want anymore. We don't need these ruined trousers. Send them to the dump, please. Here we got a few more. Most of these, I think, were taken from goblins. We're wearing goblin clothing. Got a few more over here. This takes a little while. This is why I usually don't show this part. But you need to see this. This is not the part you need to see. This is just something we're doing on our way to the thing. Oh man, that's a lot of ruined pants. 
Uh, Sprung Greaves, we'll order those melted. Steel Greaves, we'll order those melted. Doesn't matter, I gotta check through the dump pile anyway, so we'll keep going down here until I find what I'm looking for. Please don't stop watching. Boy, that's a lot of ruined loincloths. Have we been wearing these? Okay, maybe we don't need to steal their loincloths, guys. Maybe that's not clothing that we need to take off the goblins and the trolls. There we go, I see what we're looking for. Okay, so. See how these all have the dump designation? And they're forbidden? That's the problem. I'm ordering them dumped, but for some reason, they're ending up forbidden while they're in the cages. So in order to make this work, we have to unforbid, but make sure they're still dumped. And then we have to go through the whole list and do this manually. And I'm, I'm not entirely sure what's already in the dump pile and what's just plain forbidden, so we have to do this for every one. I already did this for the armor, the headwear, and the handwear. I'm gonna make you watch me do it for the legwear. So that you know what's happening behind the scenes. It's important that you know about this. This is awful. This is the most tedious thing I've ever done in Dwarf Fortress. I would rather be buried alive again than have to keep doing this. So if anybody has a more optimal method for making this happen, I would love to know about it. <sighs> okay. That's all the legwear. Now we still have to do this for... Uh, we don't need to do this for the quivers. I guess we might as well do it for the quivers, huh? They could hypothetically strike us with their quivers. Shields. We should do this for shields. Let's see, here are some more. There we go. Sometimes my fingers get tangled and that makes it harder. Later on, we'll be ordering all of these melted before we bring down the smasher. And most importantly, we need to do this for weapons. It's one thing if they still have armor on, but if they're still armed... I think everything purple is goblin equipment. If they're still armed, that is actually a problem. That did not take as long as I thought. And now we will see the dwarves flood in and actually grab all of the equipment that I already told them to dump. <laughs> Meanwhile, we're making pretty good progress here on our spikes. Um, once we strip them of all their weapons, we'll be able to build a few more of these weapon traps. Forge is going pretty well. Um, we did, we did a raid. Our raid came back. We hit maggot scorpions again. It's kind of an odd one though. Um, they just walked in, took stuff and walked out. Um, and as you can see, it's nothing great. Uh, we, we got some stuff. We got a serrated silver disc. That's not terrible for our purposes. Boy, look at all that. This should have been done already. But they didn't stop us from taking their stuff. And there are still approximately 40 of them. Um, wait, is everybody back yet? Yes. So I think it would behoove us. Uh, remove, remove. Raid. Details. Um, I think we'll go with a pillage this time. And we'll assign, once again, the squash chambers. 
uh, the Wild Chambers, and the Fatal Seals. Go for it, gang. And there they go. Look at them go. Still carrying the items they were dumping. I have no idea what happens to that forbidden beast or forgotten beast carcass. Hopefully it's been broken down by now, but I don't know. I no longer care. What's all the stuff they dropped on the ground out here? Tatter clothing that needs to go away. Huh, interesting. Why was this stuff forbidden? I have no idea what's happening. I never know what's happening inside my fort. I just work here. You gotta love the Bucket Brigade. There's just so much stuff. So much stuff. And a lot of it's on the goblins. Which is not where we want it. Can we use the weapons that we're actively dumping to arm this thing? Yeah, we got spikes. I'm not after spikes right now, though. Got a copper pike. If I can move those things directly from the dump pile into here, that would be the most convenient option. But I don't think that's how it works. It doesn't even matter what weapons we're putting in here, because there are just going to be so many traps. Which should automatically reset. I think that's how they work. Iron Flail. Uh, legendary. I think that's a Legendary Axe. Alright. No, we don't have enough yet. Carry on, as you were. Job item lost or destroyed, huh? Where are you? You're up here, somewhere. You're still pondering surveying, huh? Who are you? We can't get any information except uh, that he's got violet hair. Oh, okay. Violet hair and gray skin. You're an odd looking one. Is the violet hair natural? Are goblins just purple sometimes? Oh, the coughing I can deal with, but I cannot wait for these sniffles to go away. I hope that's not too awful on your end. But listen, I said warts and all, and I meant warts and all. This is going to take ages. Like, I'm, I'm worried about how long this is going to take in real time. Uh, but the sooner we get this done, the sooner we can arm up our dwarves and go to war for real. I'm looking forward to sending a hundred dwarves to hit uh, scorpion sprays. With war beasts. Oh, mandated bucklers, huh? You think that's okay? Make a wooden buckler for Logan. He's got a thing about tiny shields. Every time I see that something's been stung by a bee, I just think, oh good, the bees are doing okay. Speaking of which, we actually haven't done anything with the bees for a while. Did we ever milk anything? I have no idea. Um, okay, we don't have any honey to work with. Uh, sure, whatever, we'll... Well, hold up. Let's milk, make cheese, shear animal, spin thread, do it, make those things happen. Stocks, body parts, not a lot left right now. Uh, this is garbage. Oh, right, these are beak dogs that we killed because, of course, the dwarves just keep letting them loose. We can make a few totems. 
Do we have any gems to cut? Yup. Sure do. That's fine. I don't even know what kinds of trade goods we have right now, but we'll go ahead and encrust whatever we have with gemstones. Also, claystone and chalk. That must have come out of some gizzards. Uh... Oh. Sure, that'll work. Do it! Make it happen. Okay, good. Everybody's out. I mean, if they're going to let us just walk in and take their stuff, what do you suppose the odds are they're going to let us walk in and take their stuff and slap them around a bunch? I think the odds are pretty good. I mean, the only significant victory the goblins have won over us, well, they didn't they massacred Sabershove, but we won that fight, didn't we? We ultimately drove the siege back. So it was a Pyrrhic victory, but we still won. <laughs> and yet somehow it's the goblins that rule this world. <sighs> well, not for long. Well, actually, it's going to take a lot of work to clear all this. I don't know that I'm interested in doing that. I gotta figure out where we're putting that tavern. Boy, that's a lot of goblins. Maybe we'll build the tavern smack in the middle of goblin country. Why are we looking at this level? Why did I come here? Oh. Okay, we pillaged it. They arrived. We had some fights. Tore off some toes and cheeks. Killed some goblins. And stole stuff. Yeah. Where's the, the loot report? Can we get a spoils report? Is this it? Nope, that's the same one. Interesting. Well, we stole stuff anyway. Let's, um, let's get everyone back in here and then we'll turn around and hit them again. I see no reason to stop. Let's see, we did, we did a raid, we did a pillage. So I suppose it's time to do a raise. we'll just send out these three squads. We haven't sent out Logan for a bit. Let's send him out. There you go. Everybody go have a good time. If these goblins are gonna attack us, let's give them a reason to. Hang on, this jerkwad's going the wrong direction. What are you doing? They're going out that way. Are you... Are you going to go out through the cavern for some reason? Why are you doing this? No, you're going north. Everyone's going east and you're going north. Is this part of some kind of pincer maneuver? I'd be fine with that. I just want an explanation for your behavior. Oh, that takes me back to childhood. Hey, a dead troll. Somebody throw that away. Hey, trees. I missed. We don't need trees here. Don't be absurd. We're dwarves. What do we need with trees? Charcoal. Charred coal. Oh, now I get it. Oh, there's one up here too. As these squads are coming in, those squads are going out. They're passing each other. You going to maggot scorpions? I'm going to maggot scorpions. We just got back from maggot scorpions. Uh, 
Oh, seasonal auto save. What season even is it? I don't remember. I think we're in spring. So we should be coming into summer. I'd love to do a world with a high human population. I have rarely gotten to interact with humans in this game. Every once in a while I get lucky and I get a summer caravan, but it is not often. Maybe we'll just play as humans sometime. Okay, apparently that was the hotkey I hit during the save. It is, it is summer, yes. We, we have humans. Here. Oh. Saber Shoved has 20 dwarves in it now? Huh. Oh, Worked Menaces, Depopulated, Malign Seduced. Not worth interacting with. Apparently, wherever they are, we can't get to them. Whoever's left there. Boy, this is taken forever. They've got so much stuff on them. They've just got so much stuff. You know, we have a doctor's guild now. Um, let me find the hospital. Nobody's meeting? What? Needs refined coal. No, you don't. Go to the Magma Forge. See, just do it down here. Okay. Da -da -da. Well, I suppose we don't have to wait. We can build a couple more weapon traps here. Menacing bronze spike. I just have to find all the bronze spikes. No, I don't, because they're all right there. Can't wait until I'm done making that noise, at least. I see bronze spikes. And menacing bronze spikes. Okay. Do all that. How are the outbound squads doing? Logan, we're waiting on Logan again? Man. Okay, dude's rolling out. He's just taking his time. He figures they're not going to start this thing without me. I can take as long as I need to. I'm Logan Labor Conjures, survivor of sl of saber shoved, hero of slaughter chop. Champion of the Allied Mountain. He's gone. He left us here. I told him to, but that doesn't make it any less of a betrayal. Kibish, Lolor, Eshtad. Go, Godin, Godin. Wait on four more dwarves. Okay, they're picking up equipment. It looks like. Even in the background, you can see the dwarves bucket brigading all this goblin stuff. We gotta make sure it's all gone before we start trying to move them. I think that really makes a difference. Ah, boy. I don't think this is going to be my most popular episode just because of the gross noises I'm making. That's fine. Hey, you know what, Dwarf Fortress viewers? Thanks for coming with the views and stuff. You're doing great. You're doing way better than my horror viewers. You don't need refined coal. You really don't. Oh, oh. Ah! A vile force of darkness has arrived. Okay, hang on, I'm distracted. A milk pail full of knives just fell over on my leg. Okay. <laughs> Don't ask. 
All right, cool. This is happening. Everybody inside. We're not done with the last ones yet. Go away. I don't have time to deal with this right now. Who are they shooting at? What? Are, is there somebody out there? No! Oh, that's just a random stork. Okay, I thought that was the cassowary for a moment. But the cassowary is a C, not an S. So that was a silly thing for me to think. Are there not a lot of them in this one? Let's give him a minute to finish entering the map. We, uh, might just go get them. Kinda wish we hadn't just sent Logum off the map. This might be all of them. You know what? Let's risk it. GH. Um, everybody... Stack up here. Yes, on the roof. Why not? Sure. Do that. Okay, we're already engaging. Um, so since they're taking it upon themselves to go after the goblins, I will just go ahead and make it an order. Oh, please don't get shot to death. Ranged weapons? That's cheating. We use spears and axes here in Verse Tomb. We do also use crossbows, but it's not cheating when we do it. Okay. That's all of them down here. Are there any more up there? Uh, no, the siege is over. Okay. That felt weird. No casualties. Did it feel to anyone else like that wasn't a real siege? Like maybe they were just working with what they had left? It feels like we're winning this war. That's what it feels like to me. Well, put them with the others. Oh, this is where you guys have been? If we'd known you were all being kept in cages in their basement, we wouldn't have come to get you. Yeah, this feels like a mistake on your part, goblins. Is that really all of them? That's everyone. Okay. You know what? Add the new stork to that cage. Job done. Good effort, team. Good effort. Would somebody please kill that stork? Somebody? Anybody? No? Have you decided that's beneath your attention? There we go. Here comes somebody. Here comes Zuthan, the militia captain. She's armed with a... She's armed with a spear. Listed as an axe dwarf, carrying a spear. Here comes Zuthan. There goes Zuthan. Thank you, Zuthan. Okay. I think that's going to do it for today. Hey, viewers. Thanks for tuning in again. Thanks for watching. Thanks to those of you who are subscribed to the channel. Thanks to those of you who are not yet subscribed to the channel. Thanks to those of you we should turn off the alert who are watching this without ever intending to subscribe to the channel, because you count too. Every view counts. I'll be 
back with some more Dwarf Fortress next week, hopefully feeling a little less sniffly. <sighs> ah. It's like anti-ASMR. Uh, but in the meantime, we got more stuff coming out. I'll have... Uh, what are we even doing this week? A little horror game called Bias coming out on Wednesday, Shadows of Doubt on Friday, and Alan Wake on Saturday. So give some of that a look if you want. If not, no big deal. You know what you like. I'm not here to tell you what to like. I'm just here to tell you to watch Dwarf Fortress. And uh, once again, if anyone has strong opinions one way or the other about the double-length episodes, feel free to leave a comment or something. Um, I will stop asking for your opinion at the end of January. So if you have opinions, voice them now. But in any case, I'll see you folks next week. And until then, Birdman out.